Thank you so much for attending my presentation about Game Freak's Forgotten Children. My goal today is to take a look at these Pokemon that you can't get in the main series Switch game through a mostly competitive lens and try to find what makes them cool. If all their maker has completely disregarded them, I think that was a mistake. First is Furfru. Furfru's stats are a mess, but honestly aren't that bad compared to the rest of this list. 102 speed, 80 attack, that's honestly fine, especially since it has stat return. But where it gets interesting is the ability, Fur Coat. This is like huge power, but for defense instead, doubling the raw stat. This is huge and makes it really tough to break without a fighting move. Furfru loves running choice ban, threatening a lot of damage while also enabling teammates through U-turn. In its two generations of legality, Furfru has been pretty damn solid in PU and ZU. The speed tier is nice, it hits somewhat hard, and the lower power level struggles to break it. Plus, it can be given a funny little hat, so really the sky's the limit. The Elemental Monkeys were introduced in Gen 5, existed for a while, and haven't seen the outside of their cozy little Pokemon home box for about 6 years. Simiseer, Simisage, and Simipore all have different types, specifically Fire, Grass, and Water respectively. They actually do have some stats, with a great 101 speed and respectable 98s in both attacking numbers. Hey, those kinda sound like Furfrus, maybe even a bit better. Unfortunately, they don't have Fur Coat or really any kind of good defenses. This makes the Elemental Monkeys seem pretty unredeemable, but what if I told you that they're arguably even better than the Dog? They have some truly amazing coverage options and one combined with life orb and some speed, that can be deadly. There are types big stab move, superpower, rock slide, gunk shot, acrobatics, crunch, motherfucking focus blast, and it just keeps getting better. And if you're a baller, they also get nasty plot. This has given them lots of jobs in the versatile attacker position. Throughout ZU and PU history, they've been top tier options. The elemental monkeys have been great if not downright ban worthy in their formats. For example, in Gen 6 ZU, Simiseer is currently not allowed but could be retested soon, and Simipore is on people's minds for removal. Also, apparently, they had a niche in VGC 2011? I've only seen stuff about it on the Smogon strategy decks, and to be honest, I can't imagine that they were at all usable in tournament, but that's pretty damn raw. Spinda is the coolest Pokemon ever that was sadly destined for failure. With base 60 stats across the board, I mean, dude, 60? It can't get much done. It dies in one hit, it's too slow to outspeed anyone, and it can't deal damage. However, it does have one thing that makes it really appealing, contrary superpower. Superpower is a great move as a base 120 fighting type attack, but like close combat, it has a drawback, dropping attack and defense by one stage each. With contrary though, these are reversed. This lets it basically use a big ol' damage button plus, just for funsies, become stronger and bulkier at the same time. Unfortunately, Spinda sucks really, really bad even down in ZU. Basically any other normal type is better. But in random battles where it's a higher level than anything else, it can shine. Possessing a win rate near 50% and a reputation as decent, Spinda is able to show it's worth somewhere. And now for my hardest challenge, Watchog. I mean, what do I say? Its stats are at least better than Spinda's, having a speed stat in the high 70s and 85 attack. For abilities, it's not given much help. Illuminate does nothing, Keenite is basically nothing because most of the accuracy lowering moves are banned, and Analytic has negative synergy. I'm serious, why did they give it Analytic, which is good on really slow Pokemon? Watchog does have some coverage, enough to hit most things with neutral hits, or maybe even super effective if you're lucky, but it's just not enough. Watchog isn't able to do anything anywhere. It doesn't have potential, it doesn't have niches, it doesn't have interesting traits, the rodent is just a bit sad. But there is something, it's honestly pretty cute. I get it, people love to hate on this little dude, but come on, Watchog is kinda adorable. The little vest is cool, its cheeks are all puffy, it's a public servant. In fact, this is my pick for the most overhated Pokemon of all time. Even though it's not much, Watchog does have a small place in my heart, and hopefully yours too. In conclusion, Game Freak is fucking stupid for not putting these goofballs in the game. I get it, they're not fan favorites, but they should at the very least be available. Thank you so much for watching.